we have returned to the Sandbar Dam on the Stanislaus River in the Sierra Nevadas. Apparently the 16 foot tall aqua dam uh, has not prevented water from seeping into the work area at rates greater than acceptable. So now a uh, tarp or watertight liner, it's actually multiple layers, two layers of woven material and two layers of watertight material on top and it's a sheet 60 feet wide by 406 feet long. This sheet will be draped over the side of the uh, 16 foot tall aqua dam on the wet side. There it is. On the wet side and hopefully sunk in the current when the plastic comes in contact with the stream bed it is hoped that the suction of the water passing through the broken stream bed will suck this liner down and um, and help to seal off any water that's piping into the work area beneath the aqua dam's reach. Here's the jet ski some dunnage material beneath it which uh, we'll use in case of uh, uh, over the sharp rocks if and when we find any. And here is our liner. This will be installed half on top of the aqua dam and half along the stream bed to try to make a better seal uh, to prevent seepage water from coming into the work area or minimize it anyway. But now we're just waiting. The jet ski is being unloaded. It will be placed in the water upstream of the work area, which is the only place where there's access to the water for equipment. The jet ski is being unloaded from the trailer and placed into the water. One 10 inch pump, two 6 inch pumps, and one 4 inch pump are being deployed to keep the work area dewatered, keeping up with the seepage along the entire length of the aqua dam over the rocks and, uh, and generally poor condition of the sediment. So their work area is dewatered but they don't want to pump so much because they get charged for how much they pump. So now the plan is to deploy a sheet of material all along this aqua dam from the top of it, 30 feet down the side of it, to 30 feet out into the water. Hopefully as this sheet sits down against the stream bed, should be able to uh, stop up some of the water that's coming in through the broken stream bed with that sheet. It wasn't Aquadam's idea. We think that the amount of seepage is great for the terrible condition of the stream bed. But to the contractor, they see these pumps running and to them that's wasted money. So they're going to waste some money on a, on a uh, sheet of material and hope that, that money spent there is less money than they would get charged for keeping their pumps going and pumping out thousands of gallons of water. The crane is lifting the sheet, the ceiling sheet, off the trailer and I believe he plans to turn around and put it on the aqua dam.
are below water level in the work area. There's water seeping from up, uh, well technically that's downstream, but it's seeping from outside the work area. It's caught up by this black visqueen sandbag uh, dam. It looks like they used part of the inside of an aqua dam as the water type material. And here you can see the flow. This is flow that's coming through that sandbag dam, but also um, from the outside of the work area into the work area here. Right next to this big rock and all the other debris and junk in the work area. So this is a pretty good seal, all things considering, but the contractor wants to make it better. So that's why we're here. We're going to attempt their idea of putting in a heavy duty liner on the outside of the aqua dam, on the wet side, in order to seal against the stream bed floor more effectively, preventing seepage water, or at least minimizing it. How'd that go? That tear this and tear the rock. Or? The meter bags? No. No, I don't think so. Unless you went over it, um, unless you like drove over it or like used the rock as a uh, fulcrum point, you know, where it's all the pressures on it. Right. Yeah. But no, you could drive a, uh, you could drive that Kubota on top of this aqua dam. Really? Yep. Wow. competition like you guys? The workers are unrolling the sheet along the top of the aqua dam. The sheet is 400 feet long and I believe they're using the crane to assist with the lifting because it's pretty heavy. Two layers of woven material and two layers of five mil watertight material. Now the men will be uh, walking the tarp back towards that end of the aqua dam, arranging it in position on top of the aqua dam so they can be pulled over all in one piece into the river channel.
cup that is unrolled, the easier it gets to unroll because there's less and less material left. Because we're deploying the tarp on top of the aquadam, we need to turn the aquadam, uh, turn the over the tarp as the aquadam is turned, so that it comes off the aquadam uh, parallel to it in all uh, at all angles, or parallel to each section. Straps will be removed and then the next section of tarp will be unrolled. We've unrolled the length of the aqua dam with the tarp. There's still approximately 30 to 50 feet left on top of, or left in the roll. We're now pleating the tarp back so we can move the slack towards the downstream end of the aqua dam. Workers are tying off white twine to the top loops on the sheet. This twine will be pulled back and tied off to this rope, which has been strung through, uh, has been strung through uh, these loopholes. This will be our tie-off point to anchor the up, up side of the sheet, the part that stays on the aqueduct. And then the downside will be down in the water. This is the inside of the upstream side of the aqua dam. There's the giant boulder that was a real pain to get past. We had to get past before we could install the rest of the aqua dam in that corner. This is a very muddy area, a little bit more muddier than uh, the rest of the installation area. So there's a better seal. If you look at the water, it's pretty placid not a lot of flow coming into this area uh, better seal here now down there i think is mainly where the majority of the seepage is coming from that's where the pump is that's the low spot that's the majority of the rocks down there the sealing sheet has been unfolded over the top of the aqua dam. The top edge is being tied off to a rope that's been threaded through some loopholes similar to that. But up there. This rope down here, as I understand it, is a secondary rope. 
lines have been tied from the downside of the sheet. This is the part that's going in the water. They go across the river and we'll have uh, one person on each rope on the opposite bank. Uh, and those people will be pulling in such a way that the sheet comes straight out from the side of the aqua dam along its entire length, hopefully, all at once. And then we'll drop the head down, the upstream side down, and hopefully the current will run right over it, forcing the rest of it, rest of its length down against the stream bed, helping to plug those cracks around uh, uh, in the stream bed beneath the aqua dam. Now we're on the other side of the stream. You can see the tarp on top of the aqua dam and the makeshift sheeting that they've attempted previously in order to try to seal the stream bank. We've got uh, probably about 20 to 30 ropes stretching from the bottom edge of the sheet on top of the aqua dam to the opposite bank. Workers will be here on the opposite bank pulling perpendicular to the aqua dam, uh, respective or relative to each tie-off point, so that the uh, sheet comes off the aqua dam in a straight line in all directions, uh, so we don't get wrinkles. This overflow weir has been completely dewatered. The water's got to be four or five feet lower than the top of the weir uh, on the wet side of things. And there's the aqua dam. You can see this gray material here is visqueen or like a pond liner material, 20 mil thick. The black stuff, I think, is the inside tubing or the remains of the inside tubing of the 10 foot tall aqua dam that was used as a, a stub or a leg to start the 16 footer previously.
that little thing hanging off your belt. about 15 to 20 feet of the skirt off the aqua dam maybe 25 feet it's partially pulled off it's floating on top of the water for the most part the downstream side has not been pulled out as far and we're moving men down there to man the ropes so that that can be pulled out straight along with these uh, the upstream ropes. Here you can see a bubble of air being forced downstream by the current. The material behind it is sinking and the flow is going over it. So it's slowly being forced over downstream towards the aqua dam where the air will just burp out most likely. And then the material beneath it is being sucked down hopefully. 